I'm going to start the thatch on this building now. I'm going to use the grey, similar to the way I did the chimney stacks. Using the grey, not solid, but you've got to put, you've got to go all over with it and work in the direction that you see or feel the thatch is dropping down here. It's not going to make an appreciable difference, but what it does, it gives you a bit of practice. Because that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to there. That's going to be tiled, so this is where the end of the thatch comes. And there's lots of colour going on here, is why. Uh, and we're putting the greys on, and we'll put another grey on in a minute, and then we'll blend it. Uh, and then that'll be our base colour, and then we'll put all the other colours on top of it. It's going to be, probably surprise you on the colours I'm going to be using for this. That's one, and now the other grey. This is, I'm still sticking to the, the um, warmer colours. This is 273. And um, you could use the 233, but once again, come down. And I'm using it very lightly. And this is why you can see the tooth running through that, because it's just skipping over the surface. But I'm still working in the direction of the thatch. Now I won't do it all, I'll just do this little bit. And it's going to take a long time and I can show you the other colours that I'm going to be using. And this is when we're going to use, um, uh, here you could probably use the flat colour shaper. Now whether I want to use the ivory or the other, no, I think I'll use the other, the grey. It's a little bit more powerful, the grey, a little stronger. Got to get rid of all that stuff on there now. Uh, although some of the colour wouldn't go amiss on this thatch. Uh, I think it's always a good idea. Sometimes it's very stubborn, folks, you see that. It's been on there a little while, since my last picture. And I, I should clean them off when I finish the picture. Uh, but I don't. Anyway, that's that's all right. Okay, that'll do. Now, come down. And here you can make just a little bit more inroad into the direction of the thatch. Before the end of this, I'm going to say direction of fur, you know that, don't you? And uh, if I don't pick myself up, you'll have to forgive me. So I usually say direction of fur or direction of hair or direction of feathers. But in this case, it's direction of thatch. But you see, already we're starting to feel the thatch. Can you see it? Now, it'll make it a bit more obvious once we bring the next colours in, which is going to be the ochre. It's inevitable, isn't it, that the 182 follows... 273 and then again I'm not going to do all of it I'll just stop it here and then you can see the different layers and applications when it comes down here we'll have to fill this in a little bit more but the reason I put the white in because I didn't want to interfere with that and again just use the color shaper each time you do this um, the background or base color will get a little stronger and it's, uh, as you can see it's going to be a bit of a long job but nonetheless, the lovely thing about the pastel pencils is you can always put it down and go and have a cup of tea. Pick it up exactly where you left off. You don't have to worry about it drying out. This is why it's such a relaxing medium. Now you can see the beginning now. It's from there to there to there of how this is really going to work out. So what I'll do now is I'll do the rest of this the same way and then I can come back with another set of colours because that's very close to thatch, as you, uh, new thatch. It does tint of grey with age, but uh, we're going to have it kind of a greyish ochre with lots of other colours as well. So let me complete all of this. Uh, there's no need to watch me do it again. You've seen how it's done. Uh, so when I finish this off, we'll come back and we'll start again with our stronger colours. I've right, finished the ochre and the grey base off. And what you see me doing now is how we're going to proceed through this. It's going to be a mixture of thatch with some of this greenish foliage on top. But the first thing I'm going to do is use 169 and this is going to go in as again another base card. 
but I want to I want to create this kind of tone underneath. Now that can come right up to the end. Yeah, also another thing I've done here, I've added some light white. Um, now I've done that all the way along here, right on the edge. And you'll see a sense of that in a minute. Because when we come down with our 169, now this is a long old job. That took me quite a while, while just to do that bit. So I'm um, but I wanted to show you how it's all going to end up. And that's quite light. Now when you come to the blossom here, you've got to go round that. I know it's hard. I've done that round there. But if you don't do that, you've got a couple of choices really. You can either rub it out and then put the white back in again, which is okay, but you're never going to get the white back to where it was. So it's best to keep that, just as we did on the blossom over on the other side. Now I think on that you can use your colour shaper, it doesn't really matter which one. Again, working in the direction of the thatch. But here what we're doing is making it quite light. In other words, it's, it's quite patchy anyway there, and it's even more patchy here, which is going to show through. Now when you get to there, we then will come into the white. And that will lighten up, which is what I want it to do when it gets to the end. Alright, so so that's that little bit. Uh, so let me just show you how we can proceed with that. We it's a good idea to to work your some of your I've used 174 as my colour here. Now you, you don't want it all over, but you just do want it in like in patches. So it, if you do this first before we put any of the other colours on. Now you can design your own. You can either follow what I'm doing or you can do your own thing there. Really, it doesn't matter very much. And then on top of that, I've used the ochre, yellow ochre, which is 185. And that gives it, we've got to darken it all off later, but this gives a really nice rich colour. You see how that's beginning to work? And then come back in then with your 169. And this time, we want to make it a little bit more detailed, like that. And that will then match this over here. Take care around there. Just down here, as you come down here, just ease off so that we have a, a lighter edge. Uh, it's all going to make a lot of sense as we move on. Now I've added a few more colours there. One of the colours I've added, which is 179, which is an, it's a darker version of the ochre 182 we were using. Now you see how that's beginning to build up now. If we do that all the way along, that's going to be a very attractive time we finish. But then it's probably a good idea to put some dark in. I've used the 283 here because it's richer. A little bit of strength in as well, just here and there. And then back in with your colour shaper, and this time you want to try to leave some of the texture. We've got to, we've got to put a bit of a blend in, otherwise, it will look too, uh, the lines going across will interfere too much. So, we've got to. I can show you, it's better to show you, to try to explain it. That looks pretty good to me. I think I'm going to probably leave that alone at the moment, until I get a bit further down. When I get a bit further down, we can put some, we can put a bit of white back in again, just in places, and because we haven't used, we haven't put a lot of colour on there, uh, at least a lot of strong colour. Uh, we'll be able to get back in and then of course we can then use some stronger colours, this is 175 and that will work with darkening the green. So that's how I'm going to proceed but this time what I'll do, I just won't do it all without showing you so you can drop in from time to time and I'll show you how that is progressing.
Now what always finishes thatch off well is these ties. Now I'm using 177 and what they do, of course they go and weave their way in through the thatch. It's not just a straight line. We can have a double or even a treble line here. Do it the way I'm doing it, just a, a little, and then perhaps a, there's a little bump here when I get to it, so we can just go just over the bump a little bit more like that. That's fine. Right, well, let's put them in, but they don't sharp terribly well. So what I'm doing here is just, just putting a few highlights of white in as well of artistic license but you can see that looks quite pretty and if that's a little strong as I feel it probably is what we do is we just touch them with a colour shaper and that just quietens them down just a bit but you're still just a little bit of pastel there uh, just looks quite pretty on the top there so I think we can leave it at that And do we want some more? Yes, I think we do. So let's do another run along here. Now look at a couple like that. We'll have one that runs along from here. 175 again. Again, weave it in and out. And there's also on some of my reference pictures so there's a few other it's obviously where we have or they have um, perhaps some, a little bulge that they wanted to correct and but I think you know make sure that nothing happens to them and I think that's quite nice I like that again just a spot of white just to highlight again you have to make sure this is quite sharp, folks, because they won't... Um, there we are. I think that looks quite pretty. Now, do I want any more? Well, it's probably a good idea just to put a little bit of extra strength in. So I'm going in with 177 now, and just here and there, make it a little stronger. It also makes it look rustic, and you can do wonderful things with a, a spot of dark. As you can see, and I'm holding the pencil leg so I don't put too much on and too strong, and then that can come down. If you interfere with the, the light on the edge, but that looks pretty good. Oh, I didn't do this one, just a spot or two, like that. and I really think I might return to it and put some more on, but. I think at the moment, I think I'm going to leave it at that. That looks really pretty, very attractive. Now, there is another area that we've got to do. Um, I'll do it now. And this is the underneath area of the thatch. Now, to do that, I'm going to use the grey. Instead of using the light grey now, because it's dark, I want to use the dark or medium tone grey. So we put that in there like that. And along there. It doesn't take long. I, I won't do all of it. I just do from around here and then as it turn the corner. Let me put the colours that we've used on. Uh, 169 is another colour we use. We want to keep the, the same tones. A little bit of ochre as well mixed into it. Now we've got the same tone there but we need to have it darker. And there's only one colour that we can use, and that is the, the 175. Now here you can just interfere with that just a slightly. So it looks as though the edge of the thatch is... Got the idea of that? You'll, you'll see that later as we move along. It's going to be quite dark though, so we make it dark. But with all those other colours in there, it won't appear 
that strong, but that is fantastic.